so your next question is describe the first question c part describe the working of a single stage as stable oscillator using an op amp so what is meant by single stage as stable oscillator what is meant by a stable oscillator a stable means it doesn't have any stable state there is no stable state so it keeps on oscillating okay so since it's an oscillator you are not going to apply any input signal the only signal is your dc signal supply voltage vcc and minus ve okay so this is your uh, diagram of your um, a stable oscillator your op amp as an a stable op, uh, oscillator where you will be having how will you get the output signal square wave will be uh, you will be obtaining due to the charging and discharging of the capacitor so when it is charging you will be getting your it will be maintaining it in plus v set and you, when it is discharging it will be maintaining it in minus v set so okay so how you are getting this so let us see the diagram there are two cases okay so here you will be getting what is the construction here inverting terminal will be connected to your uh, capacitor and you have a feedback resistor here there is a potential divider resistor so always now there will be a, a portion of the output fed back to the input right positive feedback so what will be this voltage this voltage can be across the non inverting terminal can be calculated by means of v thevenin so what will be your v thevenin again apply your voltage division rule so what will be your voltage division rule the uh, resistor across which the voltage you have to find out that is r2 divided by total number of resistors r1 into r2 into your source voltage in this case the source voltage is equal to it is coming from here right so v out so v thevenin will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v out so this will go as uh, your signal in the non inverting terminal so so what will happen once it reaches once the capacitor reaches this uh, plus so v out will be having two condition it will be either plus v sat or minus v sat so when it is plus v sat once it reaches um, this value plus v sat into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 it will switch it will switch the output from plus v sat to minus v sat so let us take the first case in the first case you are assuming that the capacitor is uncharged and now your v out is equal to plus v sat so when 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 v out is equal to plus v sat what will be your v thevenin instead of v out you have substituted it as plus v sat okay so that is the only difference so this is your v upper threshold v ut will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v sat this r2 divided by r1 plus r2 is taken as beta v sat okay so consider this condition now you have your output is in plus v sat now what will happen once you apply the supply your capacitor starts to charge once it reaches beta into plus v sat what will happen it starts your capacitor starts discharging the output will switch from v sat to minus v sat so uh, now your it will go to your second case now in the second case now your output has switched to minus v sat now what will happen to your threshold instead of v out you are going to substitute it as minus v sat now your uh, value of your v thevenin will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into minus v sat which is equal to minus beta into v sat so this is called as your lower threshold value so now your capacitor will start to discharge till minus beta into v sat so once it reaches this uh, threshold value it will again trigger the output signal to switch from minus v sat to plus v sat so this keeps on changing so this is your this is your uh, working principle of a stable uh, multi vibrator which does not have any stable state it keeps on oscillating from positive to negative plus v sat to minus v sat the detailed explanation is given in the playlist okay